on communism. Unfortunately, the fact that humanity has proved unable to develop and reach the intellectual level necessary to understand the issue of communism is extremely painful and must be taken into account. This is doubly sad for me, as a representative of a country where tens of millions of people have perished because of this regime, their death would have some meaning if, after all these sacrifices and all these torments that have plagued my country, humanity became more unanimous on the issue than before, and the fact that this did not happen is a crime against the memory of all those millions of people. Their deaths are no different from those of victims of an earthquake, if, after the collapse of Nazism, people have discovered the need and ability to take responsibility, then this was a positive factor. But this did not happen when communism collapsed. And the point is not that it all sounds like an insult to the memory of the victims. This still means that every mistake made in the 20th century will be repeated and are being repeated as we are sitting here chatting in this room, and instead of one utopia, there will be many other utopias that will have taken the vacant space. Vladimir Bukovsky speaking in Padua, Italy, March 22, 1999 If I may make a comparison, I would say that socialists actually provide the food that feeds communists. Communism is like a parasite that develops on the socialist body. One should resist communism with personal responsibility of each human being. Vladimir Bukovsky, interviewed by François, June 26, 1981. Communist regimes are the same in every country because this system creates the most favorable conditions for the ascension of crooks. Vladimir Bukovsky, interviewed by L'Express magazine, June 12, 1981. When we talk, for example, about the collapse of Nazism, this was a real collapse. The regime was completely exhausted, completely destroyed. Its structures were dismantled, publicly condemned. However, no one has done anything similar with regard to communism. The approach to communism from the very beginning was completely different from the approach to Nazism. Despite the fact that the actions of both regimes were similar, crimes on both sides, genocide on both sides, there is so little difference between them. However, if the crimes were committed by the Nazis, they were identified as such. The same actions taken by the communists were simply assessed as mistakes caused by confusion. Vladimir Bukovsky speaking at Communist Mentality Conference in Padua, Italy, November 14, 2000. The communist system, like any totalitarian system, tends to collapse mainly for internal reasons. External reasons also can add a lot. They can speed up. They can slow down the collapse of these systems. But, as a rule, they are doomed. They have fundamental conceptual flaws in the structure itself, in the very foundation. The fundamental mistake of all communists, socialists, and other ists is that they do not recognize the sovereignty of a human being. They believe that they can change a person by changing the external conditions. For example, to make people perfect under perfect social conditions. And this is complete nonsense. It is completely unscientific. They do not understand that a person's individuality is primary, and everything comes from that. All these ideas of collectivity, class, we have tried all this. For 73 years they have been conducting this experiment. And all this led to was the complete ruin of one of the wealthiest countries in the world. Vladimir Bukovsky speaking at Spirali Edizione Publishing House, Milan, 2007.